I am beyond excited for this movie, so I thought I'd do this video. My predictions of least likely to most likely, who's gonna die in Infinity War? Morbid. Welcome to Durbania, I'm Durbin, and this is my ranking of least likely to most likely to die in the movie Infinity War. Now, there's so many characters to choose from, but I thought, number one, I narrowed things down and look at the main superheroes in this movie. But number two, I take a look at something that the Russo brothers have been saying, that phase four is a dawn of a new era, that they're going to be doing brand new things, so phase three is an ending. So phase four is a new beginning, phase three is an ending. But an ending to what? We've already seen the beginnings of new characters as we've gotten into phase two and phase three. So who are we ending here? What storylines are coming to an end? I think it's those phase one Avengers, those founders of the Avengers. I think it's their ending we're gonna see. So who is most likely to die in Infinity War? Let's dive into it. And while we dive into this, I want to hear from you. Who do you think is most likely to die in Infinity War? Let me know in the comments below. Number five, I've cheated already. Hawkeye slash Black Widow. I think one or the other might die in Infinity War. Now, as I'm thinking about it, I think it's least likely to be Hawkeye. Because, like, even though he's not appeared in any of the trailers and things like that, the Russo brothers have talked about how they really like Hawkeye, and because of the events of Civil War and the fact that he has a family, and, you know, he's sided with Cap against the government, so he's probably gone into some kind of hiding. I don't know, all this is just theories, but listening to what the Russo brothers have to say, that they really like this character, and that they have a story for him kind of like, you know, the long story so not something that's really short and just gonna happen really fast that they actually got like important plot things for him so i i'm not sure that he's gonna die at least not in infinity war i kind of doubt he'll even die in avengers 4 because it just sounds like they got some plans for this guy so we'll see black widow i think she has a greater chance of dying she is a character who's had a great story arc and they could give her one epic ending but she's at my number five because I don't know. I mean, I could I could sort of see that they could do it in Infinity War, but I also kind of doubt it. I, I feel like we haven't seen the last of Black Widow. Number four, Hulk. I do think there's a good chance Hulk will die in Infinity War. I do, because not so much that anything in the trailer lends to the fact that he might die, but because when I look back at the Hulk's history, his solo movies with Marvel just have not been the greatest. That Eric Bana one, it just wasn't that good. I didn't really get into that one that much. I think a lot of people didn't get into it. I don't know. It just wasn't that good of a movie. So they did that sort of soft, sort of hard reboot with Edward Norton as the Hulk, this one being included in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But that one apparently didn't perform as well on the big screen, which is kind of sad because I really enjoyed The Incredible Hulk. And then when you take things like Samuel Stearns and the mutated thing happening on his head, Banner, Gamma, poison blood dripping on the wound on his head, his head going, you know, like that weird thing. Like there was promise there of some really cool things going on. I looked it up on Wikipedia, found out he becomes the leader. So it would have been cool to see that go somewhere. It's just at this point, we are so far removed from that, I highly doubt we're going to go anywhere with the leader or build on Samuel Stearns or anything like that. It would be very, very cool if they did, and I would love it if they did, but at this point, I don't feel like it. And the Hulk has done best when he teams up with the Avengers or he teams up with Thor and Thor Ragnarok. Those seems to be the movies where Hulk thrives. So unless they have big plans for him teaming up with the new Avengers and Phase 4 and the other heroes going forward and things like that, I don't know. I just, I don't feel like there's too much potential in them putting him in a solo movie here in the future. I could be wrong, but that's why I think Hulk is a good candidate to die in Infinity War. Number three, Thor. I think Thor has a high probability of dying in Infinity War. I don't think it's going to be that scene in the trailer where his head is being crushed by Thanos. No, I think that scene is going to lead to him floating around in space where he, you know, gets found by the Guardians of the Galaxy and he picked up by them. I think that's kind of a lead into that. But there's something very depressing about that whole scene. I could be wrong about all of this, but it really looks like, you know, everybody on Asgard is dead. It looks like... Thanos found that ship and wiped out everybody. I get the impression Loki is handing over the Tesseract to save Thor, to save maybe whoever's left of the people, but it looks like everybody's gonna die there. And honestly, I think this is where Loki's gonna bite the dust. So yeah, I'm cheating again. 
I'm going to throw Loki in here at number three with Thor because they're part of the same family. I think Loki is going to die pretty early in this movie because he's already had an amazing arc. He's been part of three Thor movies. He's been part of an Avengers movie. We watch this character start here at point A and grow and change and grow and change. And then, you know, the way that they kind of just tied things up in Thor Ragnarok, it feels like a really good place to end Loki's character. So I feel like there's a high potential that he could die. So now if Loki dies and all the Asgardians die, then that just seems like the wrap up to Asgard. So it makes sense that Thor would die in Infinity War. But Thor, I don't think is going to die in that, you know, scene where his head is being crushed. I think Thor is going to make it to the very end and die in some epic sacrifice worthy of the Viking gods. Like, I just think it's going to be a worthy death for Thor in an epic scene. But I think the chances are high that we will lose Thor in this one. Number two, Iron Man. Yeah, I think Iron Man has a high probability of biting the dust in this one. I mean, one of the most suspicious scenes in the trailer is that, that place where he's like kind of like this and he's like all sad. Somebody has died there and I have my own theory and I hope that by stating this theory, it's not a spoiler because I have seen nothing to confirm this theory of mine, but I feel like somebody close to him dies and it could be Pepper. I think it's a higher probability that it's Spider-Man. Now, I don't think Spider-Man is going to die in this because Tom Holland is signed for a Homecoming sequel. So no, I don't think he's going to die in this. But I think there's a small chance that he's going to die. And Tony Stark is going to convince Doctor Strange to use the Time Stone to go back just a little bit. And then he's going to die in Spider-Man's place. Or it could be anybody's place. Like, I mean, who, whatever. So, I think somebody close to him is going to die. He's not going to be able to handle it. He's going to ask Tony, or Tony Stark. He's going to ask Doctor Strange to reverse time just a little bit. And then he's going to die in their place. I think that would be a very noble sacrifice for Tony Stark if it happens that way. And I think that'd be very noble because... It continues the growth of his character. I mean, we watched him be so cocky and whatever in Iron Man 1 and 2. We watched him descend into fear through the Avengers, Iron Man 3, Age of Ultron, and into Civil War. But from Civil War onward with like Spider-Man Homecoming, we're watching him like build himself back up and how he wants to build up Spider-Man to be better than he is. So I just, I, I feel like for him to do something like that would give his character one of the most excellent send-offs and goodbyes. So I don't know. We will see. I think he's gonna die. Number one, Captain America. I am pretty darn confident he's gonna die in this movie. I just am. Like, everything in me just says Captain America will die in Infinity War. That he won't even make it to the fourth Avengers movie. He will die in this one. I really hope he and Tony get the chance to, you know, make up. You know, they have that chance to talk and hash things out and become bros again right before he dies. That would be incredibly awesome. But I think he's going to die. Now, when Cholo Nerd, my wife Laura, and myself, we did our trailer breakdown for the most recent Avengers trailer. Cholo Nerd had a theory that the scene in the trailer where Thanos is bringing his glove down and, and Captain America catches it and he's pushing her up. He's like, Aah! Like, he really thinks that is the scene where Captain America is going to die. And I could see that as a high probability scene, like him holding off Thanos to buy some time for the other Avengers. Like, I think it's an entirely strong possibility. I think if he does die in Infinity War, he will make it through the whole movie, and it will be the thing that ends the movie. I think it'll be the, the final part of the movie where he gives his life for them in some fashion or another, and everybody's like empowered by a sacrifice of course maybe at first they're devastated by it but later they get empowered by it. like no we will rally around his memory and then in the comics i know like falcon and bucky like in different versions they've taken up the mantle and lots of people have their theories as to why falcon is the most likely to take up the mantle in the mcu and bucky moving on to this white wolf plot line so like there's all kinds of theories out there but i really think falcon and bucky are part of this new dawn and phase four and i think we're really going to see captain america bite the dust one final big prediction going back to what the russo brothers have said that, you know, Infinity War and Avengers 4 is an ending and Phase 4 is a new beginning. I think by Avengers 4, we will have seen Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk, and Thor die. Why those four? Those are the four franchises that began the MCU in Phase 1. Those are the four core Avengers in the first Avengers movie. So I think 
more than likely by the end and this is not a, just an affinity war prediction this is the two parts put together as a giant whole i really think by the end of this this will be the end of those four as we break into a new dawn that is really depressing to sit here and think about this and predict who's gonna die i love all these heroes i want none of them to die but i do want them all to have great endings because it would be great to have like these four have epic endings so like we can see their stories tied up in a bow and it's over then we begin phase four with dr strange with falcon with bucky with spider-man with captain marvel with the guardians of the galaxy and just build up a whole other team of heroes and for the next 10 years we could build into something else incredibly epic and then give that an epic ending so i just feel like if we do this right we could give a great send-off to those four original and then build up something new altogether oh and ant-man i really think he's going to continue on we're part of phase four i do so these are my predictions of who's gonna die in infinity war what is your predictions rank from least likely to die to most likely to die let me know in the comments and while you're there hit the subscribe button to become a durbanian hit the bell by the subscribe button so you're notified the next time i drop a ranking video like this a theological analysis a movie review or anything else i do here i'm durbin thanks for checking out durbania <laughs>